Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Uh, a large amount of my audience of this channel is from the United States. So I thought I'd teach a quick probability lesson using the uh, US presidential elections as an example. So recently on the news you would have seen a lot of information about the odds of a certain candidate winning the election. So let's give you guys an example uh, number. So this is where I'm getting the information from. Just a disclaimer that I am not into politics. I don't have a big interest in who wins or not. I'm just uh, using this as a, as a way to teach you a little bit of maths and um, hope you guys can learn a little bit of what is happening in the news. So this is the news website that I got this information and it says the latest odds for the next US president Hillary Clinton uh, has four to nine and Donald Trump the odds are seven to four. So if you don't know anything about odds you probably find this very confusing but if you know about probability you can easily convert these odds to probabilities. But before we do that, let's just explain what odds are. So odds are basically a ratio of the number of ways, uh, number of ways of losing to the number of ways of winning. So if you have a look at Hillary Clinton's odds, Four represents the number of ways of uh, losing, number of ways of losing, and nine represents the number of ways of winning. Number of ways of winning. So what does that actually mean? So if you imagine there's a pie chart, okay, a pie graph, right? This represents the whole probability, uh, what you call it, sample space. If we divide this sample space up into 13 equivalent slices, so let's do one, two, three, four. Oops, let's make it a bit bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's just pretend all these slices are equal. I know that. They don't seem equal right now, but pretend they're equal. That means that four of these slices, okay, let's highlight it with a different color. Four of these slices will represent Hillary losing and five of these slices will rep uh, nine of these slices, so all of these slices will represent Hillary winning. So we can draw a similar pie graph for Donald Trump. So let's draw a circle to represent all the possibilities of the sample space, whether Donald Trump will win the election or not. There are seven slices that represent him losing and four slices to represent him winning. So in total, there will be 11 slices. So remember, they have to be equal. So let's do one, two, three, four slices uh, that represent Donald uh, losing and seven slices to represent him winning. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These slices represent Donald. Oops. Winning. Oh. Donald losing. And four slices represent Donald winning. Donald winning. So I should probably label that here. So on the left hand side is the number of ways of losing. And on the right hand side is the number of ways of winning. So there are more ways that Donald Trump can lose compared to winning. Whereas Hillary, there's a bigger chance of her winning compared to losing. So how do we convert this to a probability? So to convert these odds to probabilities, all you got to do is you're going to get Clinton's odds. So four to nine. You're going to add them together. So for Clinton, you're going to go total uh, outcomes is 4 plus 9, which is 13. And then for the probability of winning, it's just going to be the number of ways of winning, which is 9 over 13. And the probability of Hillary losing is just uh, 4 out of 13. And you can see winning and losing, they both add up to 13 out of 13, which is 1. And then for Donald, again, you got total outcomes is um, total number of outcomes is 7 plus 4. which is 11 outcomes. Um, there are four ways that he could win. Four, um, sorry, chance of him winning is four. So probability of winning is four out of 11. And the probability of him losing is seven out of 11. Okay, so now that we can convert from odds to probabilities, let's go the other way. Now, this is completely made up. So uh, if you're a supporter, please don't be angry. I'm just making this up based on uh, some of the forecasts that I can see at this address. But let's say the probability of Gary Johnson winning is 0.1%. How would you convert that to odds? So 0.1% is the same as um, 0, uh, wait, as um, 1 over 1,000. Uh, you can try typing 1 over 1,000 into the calculator. Uh, you should get 0 0.001, which is the same as 0.1%. So if you want to write it as um, and write as odds, then it's the losing chance to winning chance. So the chance of him losing is uh, one. So the chance of him winning is one and the chance of him losing is 999. And these two numbers, they add up to a thousand. So that's how you convert between odds and probabilities. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.